Hi Virgo, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and this is your weekly What The Fuck reading. I've got no announcements so we're going to go straight in to the reading and ask the cards what started the What The Fuck for this week. So your first aspect, facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. Okay. And your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, and why this may be fucked for Virgo. That's your journey, where you need to be. What can Virgo do about the situation? These are coming out lovely, actually, darlings. And what they can't do about the situation. What can Virgo not do about this current situation? And Virgo, how are you going to reconnect to the true you? Whatever it is, it's on the floor. And your final outcome, what the fuck is happening next, Virgo? What's happening next for Virgo, 23rd to the 29th? Okay. Push that over a bit. Right, my lovelies, let's have a look. So, what started the what the fuck for you, Virgo? We've got the Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning. This is a new beginning of love, knowledge, wisdom, happiness, spirituality, all that stuff. Um, but the cup is flowing, so it tells me that um, there may have been some healing going on, but I am kind of getting that this may have been, um, or is still continuing to be, a cup of love that has either been offered out by yourself or offered to you. Now, facing your fears and taking your fucking power back, lovelies, you have got right at the beginning the lovers this is the lord and lady this is a power couple this is she is a nurturer a life giver she sustains life he is the protector of all that is in nature um and when this is pulled up straight after the ace of chalices this has got to be a love connection however standing in your power with this love connection right behind you I'm kind of getting that there may have been some financial struggles or some places where you live kind of struggles. Um, I'm not going to say that you went into loggerheads with each other, but there was definitely some sort of um, disagreement where you had to stand your ground and not be conjoled into thinking that um, your partner's way was the right way. And I think you stood your ground well um, without disrupting at this point your relationship. I think you dealt with the situation very well. So your manifestation, your wish fulfillment and why this may be fucked is done. You, this two of wands, this is a quest. This is leaving your comfort zone to go and find something, to go and explore something. And then right behind that, you have got the Holly King, who is on a spiritual quest. He goes out on these quests to find wisdom, knowledge, spirituality, emotionally. He does find sanctuaries at different places. But there's definitely this movement that you've wanted to go and explore something away from 
this situation and it may be that juggling your pentacles has meant that money or something has been too tight for you to explore this wholeheartedly it's not to say that it's not going to be explored but right now i kind of get the feeling that um the timing he's also father time the timing isn't quite right for this exploration whether it's spiritual physical mental it is not the right time so darlings your movement card your journey where the fuck you need to be very nice you've got the moon the moon is illuminating a pathway for you it's illuminating a truth or an untruth um, and it's asking you clearly not to look at distortions it's asking you to look at the clarity of the light of the moon in order for it to bring things out of shadow so that you can deal with them anything that remains in shadow doesn't need to be dealt with right at this moment in time it's the stuff that is illuminated that you need to deal with and right behind that your pathway continues with the knight of pentacles bringing in messages that your career your home life is is on the move it is on the move slowly as it may be this is not a fast night they are not coming in on a steed and there is not the horse is not kicking up dust behind it but definitely there is a really good solid movement towards either a new career or a better part of your career and which may involve you moving physically to be able to attain that but whatever it is lovely you've got the seven of pentacles right behind that you know your stuff you know what you're doing and that has given you lots of choices to make this is something you are really skilled at doing and it has opened up a world of choices and right behind that card my lovelies on your journey you are going to either give or receive charitable acts of kindness kindness comes in all forms a hello a goodbye um a smile a touch right up to giving millions of pounds if you feel like it but right now i kind of get that your movement is that this is going to be a little bit of give and take in order for you to move on your pathway your journey and where you are leading to now what you can do about this situation which you've handled extremely well you have you have handled it well and you haven't disrupted this beautiful relationship you haven't you have just moved this relationship on you have rather than rejected anybody you have redirected your relationship and you've headed your relationship and this is what you're doing about the situation into the two of cups this is celebration of a couple could be business could be lovers could be a combination of both then right behind that you know when i saw this originally are you so you've turned your back on your cups no what i've been seeing recently is your cups have got your back and that is allowing you to go off on your journey in the knowledge knowing that your cups are okay they're in the upright none of them are spilt this is telling you that your family your cups the loved ones behind you your friends your community are behind you and they are pushing you on on your quest they are telling you that it's okay to take this pathway because they know you need to do this alone and what that is going to lead to is you've got the two of cups here you're going to go and do this quest because that's what's on the cards and when you come back there is going to be a celebration another celebration this time it's going to be friends family and community so the cards are clearly telling you whatever this quest is even though you feel that your finances aren't right in the right place at the moment it is still going to happen for you and it may be that your cups coming together um, your loved ones coming together will find you what it is that you need to be able to move through this beautiful um 
pathway that's been illuminated by the moon for you um, and it's going to enable you to do so much more than you ever dreamt of your manifestations my darlings is is this quest thing and your quest is on the cards it is but definitely your eight of chalices i just don't see this in the same light as other readers do any longer and i see that your chalices are in the upright yes you've got your back to them but they've got your back they're telling you that yeah go and do this because we're celebrating as a couple and when you come back we're going to be celebrating as a family and a community so lovelies what you can't do about the situation is you can't stop this accolade you are going to come back with accolade this is something that you've achieved a certificate a qualification um, success of a business something that gives you a burning desire to be successful is going to be celebrated and there is nothing you can do about that it is so in the cards about selling you've got celebrations everywhere and cups everywhere virgo you my lovelies my lovely that you are an earth sign so your cups and your rods they are all about your love your fire your passion what it is that you want to do what it is you want to be your pentacles are your sign which is your earth sign let's bring in those back into balance moving towards where you want to be having those wonderful choices and then using your pentacles to do this charitable act and it may be that you know the charitable act for me is give and take all the time but this is such a nice reading virgo i don't feel the need to clarify anything um you have got with the reconnecting of the true you look at this my darlings you've got the high priest male or female you know your stuff you, you're going to learn so much more but i get the thing your quest is around tradition what is traditional for you what's been traditional for your family what's going to be traditional for you to move on in the future but i kind of get this reconnection to the true you is to explore all of that and more and gonna be, you're going to evolve I'm, I'm kind of getting that because of this decision that you made around this couple where you redirected your relationship you didn't get rid of it you worked on it you come back from whatever it was that made your pence go into a struggle and have this kind of like disagreement almost not taking on board somebody else's forceful thoughts and feelings and you have positively turned it all around and it's led to an ascension it's led to you waking up spiritually and it has led you to ask about tradition it's led you to think that you know although the family may have had traditions you may have your own traditions but going forward are you going to create some new ones so lovely that's the reconnecting to the true you and then your outcome card is you've got the page of wands bringing in a message saying that magically you can move things out of the way you don't have to keep doing the same stuff over and over this is a slow moving card it's not very fast so you will get time to think about it but you will get time to move things out of the way move blockades out of the way and get the movement going again so whatever this block is that's stopping this at the moment it's, it is it's it's going it definitely is going and right at the bottom of the deck my darlings you have got a king of pentacles this is an earth card this is one of your cards male or female this person sta sits in their power not stands in that sits in their power sits in the knowledge and the wisdom that they've been it seen it done it they're a business person they have made good investments they know how 
um, money works, they know how the investments are good, bad or indifferent, and now they're willing to offer you the um, benefit of their knowledge and their wisdom. And it may be that that person will come through with the finances for you to do this quest because I do get that this is going to be quite lucrative for you going forward. So we're asking the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge, wisdom and energy for the week. And you have got autumn, release the old and rest. You've got the mirror guardian, time to reflect. You have got winter take care of your needs and you have the star ancestor follow the voice of your soul virgo there you have it lovelies this is your reading 23rd to the 29th of march it is a lovely reading a pleasure to read it i'm glad that you're standing in your power virgo i'm glad that there's these celebrations and accolades around you it is something that you've needed for some time going by some of your older readings you definitely definitely moved into a much stronger newer viable position spiritually emotionally and physically so lovelies enjoy this week enjoy what is coming towards you and I will catch up with you in the next reading. Bye for now.